Craig, so join us. All right. Uh, uh, so we're reconnecting to uh, the modern world. Uh, Adele came out with a, a new uh, single, I guess, after five years. It's about divorce. It sounds really, I think a lot of people want to hear about that. Um, I seriously doubt it, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, so going to the music industry, uh, it's not really about her. It's about the music industry. I just use her for, you know, whatever. Um, and uh, Vanguard Group, uh, secretly running the world. It's basically, it's a, an investment uh, bank. I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to show it online to get look it up. But, you know, they channeled a little bit about that yesterday. Uh, basically, they're kind of secretly, or not secretly, you can just look them up, but you can see that they're like worth like $7.5 trillion. Uh, they're one of the the largest uh, investment companies in the world. Uh, so we'll see what other energies I can tap into with that. And uh, there's not, it's not all bad. There is good there, but it's not the best energy. And then raw. Uh, for just for the sake of just connecting to raw, <laughs> so um, for the music industry, this is no surprise. Of uh, they don't care what they put out there as long as they it gets attention, makes some money. They don't care what the quality is. I think we already know that. <laughs> Yeah, they really don't care. Yeah, it's all about just hypnotism now. Uh, the sirens and just, you know, manipulate reality as much as possible. It's doing a bang up job. So, uh, and Raw, I'm not sure where, where Raw is going to go with that. So, <laughs> I can get an idea. <laughs> uh, as I've told I comment for our sessions. We have a scheduler here. We have a shop. I'm on the third. Of course, the October is slowly going away. <laughs> Same situation here. We have the webinar for tomorrow. Social network and behind the scenes. And we have the mystery school, but the site is down. So I guess we're maintaining it. All right, um, so Adele, uh, apparently there's, I don't know if this is true or not, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, about how she shape-shifted uh, into a reptilian somewhere. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not, but I wouldn't. <laughs> is there any doubt there? No. Well, it just shows that reptilians have a nice, a very good singing voice. <laughs> And for some reason, they're talking about divorce now. Why would you want to make an album about that? God, nobody cares. <laughs> I don't think, don't people want like upbeat something? I don't know. Not that. Maybe like one song about divorce. That makes sense with the whole album about divorce. I mean, it's going to get people to, yeah, I guess it's going to get people to want divorce. Uh, I don't know. It's just. Oh, Katie, uh, Katie Perry is like one of the most, I know I'm kind of jumping from person, but Katie Perry is probably the most controlled person in the uh, music industry. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Uh, but Adele is the most, I think the biggest Grammy winner and all that. So I'm not sure whatever that means, but yeah, I, I can't get a queer vibe on her. What's going on there? Uh, like Katie Prayer is pretty obvious. Adele, I don't know. I'm not going to go into that. It doesn't matter. So, all right, this is about the music industry. If anybody cares, <laughs> uh, if you care, uh, raise your hand. <laughs> so, uh, all right, it goes with Vanguard Group, the, guy, the people that run the world. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a secret, <laughs> but you're not going to have. Vanguard Group, you're not going to have any of the big companies talking about because they because Vanguard's invested in them, which is running the narrative. 
which is running the news at narrative too in some form i haven't looked in that to that so what a surprise so all right um uh, music industry okay blessings here we go Greetings with a consciousness of the music industry. I realize the consciousness of a music industry is not there to control society. It is a human decision. So some of your, yes, elitists, well, they know, they know what type of beats people like. Rhythms, beats. And yes, they're using a lot of sexual energy to, it's like music is turning into alcohol. <laughs> it's becoming bad for you. <laughs> Instead of it being good for you, I mean, alcohol can have some good attributes, but music is just becoming, not all music, but a lot of mainstream music, of course, is just being weaponized against the human for you to, for you to detect, detach from yourself. Basically, so they can control your soul. Yeah, those musical energies that actually surround the soul. Of course, your average human obviously is not going to look into that. They're not looking at the metaphysics of it, how what it really does to the energy level of a soul, how much it affects the chakras, how much it affects your kundalini energy, and how imprisonment. Yes, many are worried about this whole health situation about getting, call it the jab, but what about the music that's manipulating society from quite some time? Not all music, but yes, at least five, ten years, five to ten years, it's been getting worse of its mind control. It is just energies of the sirens is basically to go to the vulnerability of humanity to take over any type of self-respect. And it does do some healing attributes, yes, for some but still has a lot of negative repercussions. Basically, it's once again trying to hypnotize the soul. But as we said, there are healing elements connected to it. It all depends on what you're listening to. Uh, Eric Clapton comes to mind. He's not manipulated. <laughs> yeah, some are allowed to come through, <laughs> while others are not. <laughs> Yes, your pop princesses like your Britney Spears. Uh, well, Britney has been yeah, has taken over from other realities. You can almost say she's not even a version of her, isn't even, isn't even accurate. <laughs> Meaning like she was copied and pasted into your realm due to what she can do. And others follow, of course. Yes, realize in your past music you know, era, the soul... The creativity, it's still there, just not as prominent as it used to be. It's up to you. But yes, those that are running the record, the, the, the record labels have really detect, you know, they've become so mind controlled. Now, every once in a while, they come up with something original, but it's not so much anymore. It's turning into like a Hollywood. Hollywood is very much a program society. It's all... But it's revealing itself at the same time. Like there are common beings that are here. The more they manipulate your reality, the more they are seen. <laughs> they don't like being seen, but they are being seen. <laughs> of course, most of your population doesn't even believe in them or even acknowledge they even exist. But some of you in your intuitive ability to be able to pick up their vibrations. And even some Archon beings even decide to leave because they don't like the attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, how can you destroy a society? <laughs> but that's why you are here, to shift the frequency levels, basically, so they can't hijack your reality forever. Mm -hmm. But yes, as you notice, around the 1960s, basically, your music was allowed to be free, meaning creatively. 
yes, there was some control mechanism, especially with rock and roll, but overall, it was allowed to be spontaneous, experimental. But then the 90s came and more of the elitist agenda came in, which eventually led to your 9 11. <laughs> so it's like a new regime was here. And they don't like music very much. <laughs> Not really. Greetings to you, we are Anunnaki consciousness. Yes, many are being pulled into the financial game. Well, even the game is running out, as is being allowed to be seen. And more of this will become more clear. Basically, even when your own psychic abilities be able to tap into these investment companies, and see that there is good there, but it's also a great deal of bad. <laughs> A lot of times those that are very bad have the nicest things. <laughs> Some of you have noticed that. <clears throat> but basically these financial groups, now you see why financial, as you already probably know, why finances, money exists. Yes, it can be tied around humanity. Yes, it can take the air out of you. Because if you become more free here, where it can be stable, Yes, there'll be some darkness. When you remove money from your society, of course, there's going to be darkness, but it doesn't have to be forever. Well, because humans have to get used to a world without money and a world of power of themselves, which we do still see here. You really can't connect you back to your planet. But yes, there's also a longevity that needs to be done here, meaning that the world hasn't quite healed just yet. <laughs> as you can tell. So it still has to go through its process. Just be aware to broaden your awareness of, you think the new earth is coming, and yes, but the new earth can also take a thousand years or more to fully integrate into your earth. <laughs> so you can say at the early stages of it, just the word of the new earth does help. Of course, there's other words you can use for the earth ascension process. <laughs> So there's also a lot of this light magic being brought in, <clears throat> especially through the fairy energies of rewriting history. Not in a negative way, but basically allowing more of, of your spiritual energies to come in. Yes, Atlantis vibrations, where those in your classroom can connect to the Atlantean energies and feel Atlantis all around you, <laughs> for better or for worse. <laughs> yes, yeah, like the whole class remote views, and that is what you're building up at this time. So many of you are building up. Yes, you can say your own Buddhist temple. You can say uh, your own home, but it's for you to connect easier, because a new energy is coming to the earth. But yes, the investment groups are, yes, a lot of those are holographic people. They're not always completely there. There's much more to it than that. Brings you. I am wrong. <laughs> yes, you have a, a predicament on your earth. Yes, someone's uh, political standard yes, says they'll sold themselves out completely. That's what your current administration is showing. Uh, do they care? Well, they might. <laughs> In some twisted fashion of care about society. Uh, but this is society also taking back its power, as some of you already know. But this 
change of political, you know, is for you to bring more of your powers back and your government of kangaroos can go somewhere else. <laughs> yes, the, the new age energy, well, you don't have to use that word, is basically as to, as many of you connect more on a spiritual level, as you know, on a daily basis, meaning you have physical groups of people now, don't be in a rush for this. It needs to grow as it needs to grow. It needs to do what it needs to do. So if you don't have your alien group by Friday, don't be too don't be too sad about it. But what you're seeing is government crumbling. Maybe not fully. It's still being held up, but as world governments begin to crumble, humans connect more to themselves. Now, obviously, that doesn't always have to happen. But the idea is for you to regain back your world. So a corrupt government that's falling apart, that's not the end of the world. You are, re you know, you are building this new earth and many other earths for that matter. So when you come together spiritually, open-mindedness, Yes, on a mission. It could be in Washington, D.C. It's up to you, but bringing this new energy to the earth. Yes, the, the earth itself is no longer needed. It's old, you know, bad habits. <laughs> so some of you might feel like you're part of the government system some, in some ways. Healing it. You know, taking those people in. This is a big deal. Well, darkness is no longer allowed to hide anymore. It's making itself more public. It still has a long time to be fully released, but at least you're becoming more aware of it. And yes, many are becoming aware, but it goes deeper and deeper. Many are seeing it more clearly. Uh, as we are bringing this up, yes, it is true. Now you can take this, you don't have to believe, Believe whatever you want to believe. <laughs> you have my permission. <laughs> that was arrogant, but um, alien beings underground. Yes, yeah, so some of them are government facilities, and some do get mad. Well, they get confused. They, as in human ways, remember they're alien. They don't always understand the human function, how humans do things. You might think so. They read a book on humans, but interacting with it's a whole different story. Obviously, this is why I have the planes and the Syrians and so forth to help other alien beings are here to assist. Get used to your ways. <laughs> well, also, humans are changing more galactically meaning that what's out in space <laughs> that's all you, i mean really what's out in space <laughs> that's what some are here to solve <laughs> you wonder what your life purpose is but if you're here to find out what's in space and you're not in space it takes a while <laughs> you can still connect to space all you want but yes, there's a a new fundamental. Basically, even your Hollywood would not be able to outlast what is coming in. But still, many humans still have their difficulties. They're still trying to unlock, heal. Some don't want to heal. And also, you have spiritual people that are very advanced, ninth dimension, tenth dimension, whatever it might be, and they fall for a regular human. <laughs> that would just Let's take a, a seat back and look at that a little bit. Because <laughs> many of you are becoming anomalies. Yes, a very different type of human here. But you still have your physical humans here. That some of you are still interacting with. Because yes, some, some spiritual higher dimensional people still have the hots for a physical human. <laughs> I'm going to sit back and step back and let you think about that for a second. Okay, seconds over. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So it's like an alien, not invasion, but some of you have had incarnations here having relationships with humans as an alien being, but you're with a human. And that's why you're here once again. <laughs> Maybe not always to have those relationships, but to remember. But many of your spiritual people are high vibration. High vibration as they can get. Yes, neither physical human uh, relationship. No, not as a go for other everyone, but that kind of is shows how many you know how many actually came here as alien beings and ended up having affairs with humans. They're doing it again. <laughs> it's like, oh, my spouse does not understand anything I'm going through. Well, yeah, who's the one? Who chose who? You know, because you're a high vibrational human. No discrimination, uh, but. No one force you into a relationship. Usually, just find it. <laughs> it becomes more clear over time. <laughs> All this becomes more clear. Oh uh, yes, there's crystal energies within the earth that will be activated over time. Uh, they're not even fully activated just yet. There are feline beings that will become more connected to you, even on a spiritual level. Those that want it to happen. You have to want it though. <laughs> and it goes off into the your other your other animal beings here. Eventually they'll make themselves known. Uh your Adele, the music industry. Uh what's the word of uh what's another word for toxic <laughs> environment? So they're also trying to hide how corrupt it is. Here's a look at this, listen to this music, listen to that. Stay away from you know who's running the show the most do without realizing how cancerous the music industry is becoming or already was <laughs> uh yeah there's some of that's those are different alien beings here some of them are syrian us uh, now realize there are worlds where they seduce the alien being right when they enter the earth so like you have alien beings visiting your planet and you turn on the music. <laughs> and then you have them under your control. <laughs> in some cases. They slowly lose their powers. And they get slowly manipulated. <laughs> some of you might remember some of that. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine that? You're an alien being coming to a planet. And all of a sudden you hear this music. And all of a sudden you're different. <laughs> contribution from your planet to theirs <laughs> so there's a lot of deep healing as music is as positive but of course it has its other sides but the positive aspects of music and truly it's like make life be worth living just with an energy frequency <laughs> yes helps with longevity helps with the mind to open up but getting there is another story <laughs> we understand that your vanguard, your your investment companies. Obviously, yes, they have a lot of Egyptian energies. Yes, they don't really care what humans think. They know they run everything. Now, do they care that their name is being out there? Yeah, they don't really want that. You know, they put it in plain sight and say, "Look how ignorant humans are." Until so humans start looking at their company, and it's like, "Well, you know now." Now we got a problem. <laughs> As more humans look at these companies, just talking, Vanguard feels it. Because <laughs> they are psychically advanced to a certain degree. <laughs> so, yes, you think about it, they hear it. Some of these companies like Lockheed Martin, they hear you. It's like, I want to connect to Lockheed Martin, heal the vibrations, and Lockheed Martin says, no thanks. <laughs> Uh, there's energies also in Afghanistan. It hasn't been up before we heal. Of course not. Yes, the scab is there. Yes, it's 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 like government officials that's turning against the people <laughs> of Afghanistan. American government goes against the people. Uh, they're not going into the reason why. Well, I'll just leave that for you to figure out. <laughs> well, Yes, it's not very clear. <laughs> so 
So as I son God, Ra, realize I have plenty of time on my hands. Uh, I am a son God. So, yes, people worship me. <laughs> Not so much anymore. Well, because ever since Twitter was created, that's a joke. <laughs> Uh, but it's not well now you have technology gods. So just look at that. Of your your phones. Yes, it's a so realize when you shift your vibrations to a higher level, you look at the phone as so primitive. It's like, how did we ever do that? <laughs> What's the current cell phone situation? Uh the telephone is you can say humorous for a lot of alien beings to see someone actually call somebody and things like that. <laughs> Some aliens find it hilarious. <laughs> you pick up a phone and you talk to a thing and there's somebody talking to you instead of just using your telepathic skills or something like that. <laughs> uh, but yes, that is the new future. Eventually, humans have always had problems with magic. Uh, taking responsibility is one of the reasons, <laughs> but not the full reason. Not, not everybody's being misuse of it, but quite a few are. <laughs> all right, blessings. The sun, yes, is proud of all of you. <laughs> uh, I'll be with the moon if you need me. Blessings. <laughs>